Morning, Daryl. It's 9.24 in the morning, West Coast time. Uh, sleep here. 2024. I didn't check your uh, video, unfortunately. I'm going to check it out a little bit later today when I can. I'm still reeling over what the hell happened over here in the West Coast. <clears throat> School closures happening these days, especially with universities. Taking the money and running with the damn thing. Oh my god, man, I was I pissed off at this one. I got my videos loading up right now, even as I even as I record. And I'll be tagging you up in there. When I need to see some of this stuff. Because this is man, this is pissing me off still. Now I don't know whether or not you actually went to a correspondence school or not. Or maybe to a a business school to start and have them pull the rug out, out of you from right, right under you. This is still pissing me off. <clears throat> I'm reacting over it. I'm still going over it. I'm still wigging on it. Damn thing. I've seen a few, a few, oh, more than that. More than that. Over the past 40 years, hit and run schools, pop up, stay for a short time, grab the money and run. Sometimes they'll stay as much as about five or six years before they run out of office. <clears throat> and then they're run out, period. This was an established, this was an established uh, trade school out here in Antelope Valley, California. They had their own sports team. We competed with them. A lot of uh, a lot of venues, but this the financial trouble was so damn much they couldn't even talk to the students, let alone the faculty, until they just shut doors left and right, and people just quit. Just quit. Just okay. That's it. We're running. You're talking about getting gypped on this one. I mean, I feel gypped. True, I wasn't a student over at the University of Antelope Valley College, but I feel like these students. Because I and myself am a student over at Antelope Valley College. Two different places at the same time. <coughs> yeah, map time. Okay. Shall we go into the book of Google Maps? Turn to your hymnals of singing the praises of the Google Map to the Antelope Valley, California. And I want you, sir, to type out the Antelope Valley College into the search engine, sir. From hell, you will know if you are on the street layer, you must be into the satellites. Uh. All right, take off the search engine, if you will, and gaze upon the valley of the school. Well, that wasn't it anyway. Where the hell am I? Oh yeah, there I gotta scroll in, moving, moving with the grooving. Okay. On the bottom you see Avenue K. On the top, you'll see K8. <coughs> it's a junior, what we called junior college back in the days. It's a community college. Almost like a looks like a university, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Looks pretty cool. Athletics on your west end, academics on east end, separated by a uh, parking lot or two. Uh, it's going through a lot. It's going through a lot. If I do Google Maps, I can get get different. I can get uh, different looks on this thing. This is about one or two years old. 
almost like during the COVID time. So there have been some changes on the campus, but basically this is my home. Oh, hell, she's at it again. Give me a second. Sorry about that. She still needs me. <laughs> okay. So, you look how big and how established it is, right? Nice, big, and established. Still building, still constructing, even as we talk. They uh, did some plowing under. Uh, if I'm going to scroll to the, uh, not to the middle, but to uh, Avenue K area and uh, 30th. I'll scroll a little tighter. So on the picture itself, they're still working in certain areas. Uh, some of the buildings have already been plowed under already. And others are being reconstructed. Now, the one in... You see that large hole, that scrunching area? Uh, about one or two pic years old, this picture is, and they were getting that thing built up. Used to be a different building altogether, but they wanted to make it more modernized, so they got to build this monster from hell. And as of this date, as of this date, the student service building that you uh, kind of put your uh, cursor on, and you'll probably see uh, some kind of image popping up. You'll see the new image where it says student services on it. The old one, not so much. Because this particular place used to be. And I'd been there so long, I missed the old places because I got used to them. But this one, I'm just taking a, a brief picture of what the place used to look like. It used to be here. This was, uh, this was home for a while. A long while ago. I'm looking at this place with... Love them. I just miss it. You stay away from it for one semester and it's like I get goosebumps. I miss this place. This was home. It still is home, but after being away for about a semester, it's just hard as hell. Hard as hell to grasp onto that one, my friend. Okay, let me get out of this damn thing. Okay, so. Now I'm going to show you. Sorry about taking up so much of your time here. We're going over to Sierra Highway, but we're still going to be following along K Street. We get past the 14 freeway. You're still on satellite, right? Good. Okay. Large swath of land. Okay, a diagonally shaped road, Sierra Highway. Okay, so you're going to be asking me, where the hell are we at, John? Well, I'm glad you asked. Maybe somehow there's a little bit of a tag that says University of Antelope Valley, if it doesn't. I'll help you navigate through it. I'm going to get the address for you. Or actually, if you happen to click on it, and if it happens to pop up University of Antelope Valley... But uh, probably won't. So type in this address if you can. 44055 Sierra Highway, Lancaster, California. You can back up the recording and get that one. Okay, so it's going to pin you on this one. So now you see the location. Okay, what I want you to do. Let's try to get a street map on this damn thing. If you can, if I can get this damn thing to work right. All right. 
Better yet, do me a favor, scroll on it until you get it into a good shot of it. You see the structure of the campus itself. It's right along Sierra Highway. It's sandwiched between a lot of buildings in that area. Residential, not to mention other places. I'm trying to get a street map of this damn place. But apparently, it don't do it. Here we go. Okay, Street View 360. Here we go. I just finally clicked on a little thing on Google Maps on that one. Let's take that out. Oh. Oh, we're not doing that. What are we doing? Click on that. Back to 360 again. Okay, so this is the campus of the University of Antelope Valley. This place has shut down yesterday. Pissed off a hell of a lot of students. Nice campus, you think? And sometimes I kept thinking about this place not being so much of a nice campus. I don't know. Something about the place kind of reminded me of being hokey, but it was established. That's the thing about this place. It's established. Now, I hadn't been through most of it here. I'm just trying to warm my way through things. Uh, classes, classrooms here. Upper levels, trainings. I had done a complete walkthrough of this place. It's just only the brief tour that they gave me several years ago. So the campus itself had not changed physically. But financially and everything else, yeah. This place had been bought out by a Singapore investment group. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know why. But outside, it looks like a show, doesn't it? It's like, oh, what a nice campus to go to. Yeah, well. <clears throat> I kept passing by this thing too many damn times. And I kept thinking to myself, yeah, what a nice campus to go to until I saw the kind of bureaucracy and stuff they had to go through. But even they got behind with their payments. And apparently they had to shut down, dude. They could learn medical stuff. They could have learned medical stuff in this place. Learn how to do CPR, be a EMT. A nurse's, a nurse's aid or something like that. Something of that nature. Not in this case. They've been here for a hell of a long while. The pictures have been taken since a couple of years ago. So it looks like it's pretty decent and there. That's what makes it stick to my stomach. I could have been part of this campus a long time ago, but I wasn't. Maybe I should have been a long time ago. I don't know. But it just, something about it just depressed the crap out of me. And hearing about it closed, it doesn't please me. It depresses me even further. I'm not part of them, dude. I'm not part of this. I'm not part of them, but I feel like I am one of them. When a campus shuts down, I feel for the students who've put tenure into it, who've put a lot of sweat and blood and practice into the damn thing and expecting to get money out of the student aid program to keep funding for their stuff and the supplies. And when they're not getting the reimbursements necessary, yeah, that also pisses me off too. Because I could have been one of these idiots. No, I could have been. 
Believe it or not, I could have been one of these guys already. And that's what still upsets me. I know I wasn't, but I could have been. That's the thing that pisses me off. Being part of something here that would have been... Would have been something, you know? But it was like a short term, maybe one or two if you're lucky. One or two years. Or maybe less time than that to get your degree in something. And then, no problem. <coughs> Not in this situation here. They were already well established for years on this one. I guess they have been failing in their business practices. Administration had been screwing them over left and right. And then they had to get some of the foreign group coming over here, taking the money, swipping it up, and putting these kids out the, out the pasture. Ah, shit, she's going crazy again. My dog, give me a second. Okay, now can I talk about the video that you just did? Part of it anyway. Yeah, I know, I've heard stories about this one coming in for weeks, or actually for a few months. Been posted on social media like crazy, not to mention YouTube all the time. That somebody, it's been, the news cycle's been recycled on this one, a great deal on this one. To where they're saying that, Kids shouldn't have a free lunch because it's government paid for. No, it's taxpayer paid for. Assholes. That's what it is. And yeah, I know what it's like because I've been on a damn program myself. I know. You got your story on this one. My story. It's been out there in the, in the vids. <coughs> Ma were working. Did not working. We lived on food stamps taking care of elderly people. They're gone. Ma had to work her ass off. And then we supported ourselves. But when we were in the financial bind, we had to go back over to the food stamps again. It happened. Things happened. So, yeah, I've been on a government program. Even personally been on a government program. Still am. I get a step in for a disability each month. But I still get a small stipend for uh, food stamps. <coughs> COVID kicked in. Federal government kicked in more. We actually had food stamps to deal with. We actually had money uh, for food. I used a great deal of it, too. I tried to do bulk during those days. Uh, Amazon still does EBT. So I was getting bulk just to stretch things out like crazy. Sorry. Here it is. So... Ramen noodle, cans of pasta. They have to make. They have to make sure that they last. Not to mention spam. They have to make sure that lasts too. Cans of fruit, cans of vegetables. You can use this stuff for emergency stores. You know that. I've been doing it for some of it anyway. I had to keep recycling the stuff. But it helps. With uh, when I get uh, too damn low on the stipend and bills are getting too damn much, you know, some things I have to balance out. Some things I have to work with. And there's nothing wrong with having taxpayer-funded food stamps. They help you out. Besides, I already put my money into the tax in the first place, so yeah, I'm getting it out. I'm getting it out. And helping out another person with the food? Why not? We got food giveaway programs all over the damn place. I came across Canada, and Canada is even worse than us. Bureaucracy is shutting them down left and right. They got the supplies necessary, but the paperwork and the bureaucracy sucks. They're talking about that in their country like crazy. We don't hear about it out here. We complain about our own damn stuff. Other countries are also having their own damn issues. Mexico having their own water issues. Almost no water. Drought like crazy is, is sucking up dry, not to mention a damn volcano sucking out the water tables. Everything gets to be interconnected and nobody else sees the damn shit in the first place. <clears throat> Our own government system we got right now don't care about us. We're going to go into shutdown tomorrow. Unless Congress gets off its dead ass and it gets an emergency CRT going, we are screwed. Face it, we are screwed. They keep saying about the jobs going up and up. I'm reading reports that jobs are crashing. We've already got tech jobs being lost left and right. 
stores shutting down, malls going out. <clears throat> I don't know where the hell he's getting his numbers from. But I think Biden needs to talk to the Commerce Secretary to make sure they get those numbers right. Is it from last year or is it the current data that they got? So because the information is not jiving. And I'm coming from a liberal Democrat who can't criticize this president and administration for this one. Doesn't mean I'm changing the damn vote. It just means I know. I had done videos on my own channel concerning about food stamps. I'm going to let that stand for the record. I'm not going to talk about it all that much. What I'm going to do is I'm dealing with survival right now as it is. So if Kansas wants to be paying any asses about it. The people are going to have to make the choice in this one. They're going to have to talk to their damn lawmakers and get this shit taken care of. Because if they don't, as I said before, and I'll constantly say it, I blame the voters. They want it, they got it. They're stuck with it. Deal with it. 